What's up, YouTube? Jordan here from Pulse Review, a place where you get a quick take on the hottest products. And today, we're gonna be reviewing the Logitech G305. Now, this is a video in a bigger series where we're reviewing all of the Logitech wireless mouses. So if you wanna check out any of those other videos, be sure to click through to my channel and check out that playlist. So today we're gonna to be covering six different points on this mouse. And those are the customizability and special features, the sensor responsiveness, the weight and the size of the mouse, the aesthetic, the battery life, and the price point. Okay. Time to get this sucker out of the box. All right, we're back. If you guys enjoyed that unboxing video, be sure to drop a like, it means a lot. So we're gonna start talking about the sensor. We get 12,000 DPI in this mouse. So this is nothing to be trifled with. This is a solid sensor mouse. You get the Hero 10K sensor. It is 10 times more battery efficient than previous gen sensors. And it also comes with Lightspeed Wireless, which is boasting the one millisecond response time. You're getting essentially no lag or latency between your input and the computer receiving it. There's no smoothing, no filtering, no acceleration added. You're just gonna get the raw input from this mouse. The sensor is solid. I experienced zero latency issues or interruptions while testing out this mouse. On to the customizability and special features. So if you wanna take advantage fully of this mouse, you're gonna to need to download the Logitech G Hub software. So I'll put a link in the description down below, but if you don't download the software, I'll just say you're not gonna be able to take advantage of a lot of the stuff that comes with this mouse. Some of those things are the Presets for DPI, you can have five different presets, six programmable buttons that you can change to whatever you want on this mouse, and that is the left click, right click, middle click on the scroll wheel, and then we got two side buttons on the back, or I'm sorry, on the side, the left side, and then there's one more button on the top that is a, I believe, quick switch for your DPI setting. Some more things to bring your attention to is this mouse has a nice storage compartment for the USB dongle. I don't know about you, but if you've ever had to, uh, can't get this thing out. If you've ever had to travel with your USB dongle and mouse, this thing always gets lost no matter what. You have no choice. So. The fact that they have a nice little compartment, and this is a feature on a lot of the wireless mices from Logitech, might be one or two that don't have it, but I love that feature. Logitech also included the mechanical button tensioning system as they have on a lot of their mouses. This just means that your clicks and buttons are a lot more responsive. They're gonna bounce back faster so you can mash them even harder. So for the weight and size of this mouse, it's coming in at 3.4 ounces or 99 grams, which is pretty light for a mouse. It's a little bit on the smaller size compared to the other wireless mouses from Logitech. And I have to say one gripe I have with this mouse is the scroll wheel feels like it's in a little bit awkward of a place. It feels a little bit too far back and there also is no valley that dips so that the scroll wheel is just sitting right on the same level as you're clicking. A lot of the mouses from Logitech, they kind of dip the front of this piece right here so that the scroll wheel is set in a little bit and it just allows for more natural movement when you're scrolling.
Next thing up is the aesthetic appeal of this mouse. So I got the white version, which, you know, in my opinion, looks pretty good. I mean, you could pick up the black, but I'm kind of a fan of this white version. Now, keep in mind though, when it gets dirty, you're gonna notice. I'd also like to bring attention to the singular glossy runway between the mouse buttons. It looks pretty nice. It's a nice contrast between the rest of the white of the mouse. And if you flip it back on the underside, the runways are also black. There's just little touches of accent all over this mouse, even with the Logitech logo. Now there's no RGB, which is kind of a bummer. If you have a white PC setup, then this is a great option. Next up, we're talking about the battery life for this thing. So battery life is actually pretty good. You get 250 hours on one AA battery. So that's great. However, it's not rechargeable. So you are gonna have to swap out that battery every 250 hours. So it might be a good idea to get some rechargeable batteries to use with this. Now that said, you actually can adjust this in the G-Hub software to be on endurance mode for the sensor to communicate with the computer. It just drops the response time a little bit so it's not reporting back and forth to the computer which drains the battery. Now if you set it in the endurance mode, it's gonna last for up to nine months, which is insane. Now, last thing I wanna talk about is the price point of this mouse. So sitting at 60 bucks, this is one of the cheaper options for Logitech's wireless mice. Now, is it worth the money? For 60 bucks, I'd say yeah, wireless mouse, it's got great features, Logitech's software is awesome, and you know their customer support's gonna back you unlike some of these you know, Chinese manufacturers selling on Amazon with knockoff mice. So all that said, I'd say pick it up, you know, if you're looking for a cheaper option or you want a nice little travel mouse or if you have a white PC setup and you've got to just match it with the rest of your setup, then pick this bad boy up. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. Make sure you comment any questions you may have about this mouse. I'll be happy to answer them for you and hit subscribe if you want more content like this.